I have been working over the past several months on upgrading my Precision Matthews PM728 to CNC. And there are several steps involved, as you might guess, and I'll cover those briefly here for you and show you what I've done. One of the first things you have to do is to replace the Acme screws in the X, Y, and Z axes to uh, ball bearing screws, which are precision machine screws. And that was actually quite a bit of work. I purchased the precision ball screw kit from Precision Matthews and it was really designed well and it went in well. When I was doing that, I noticed that the ball nuts, they're double ball nuts on the ball screws and uh, the ball nuts actually have a port for lubrication. So what I did was I tied the uh, one shot oiler to the ball screws. So when I activate that oiler, it now uh, lubricates the ball screws as well as the X, Y, and Z ways. So that's pretty neat. Of course, I had to do the motors. You'll see this is a NEMA 32 motor up here. And uh, I actually have a, a hand wheel. Those are double, double shaft motors. And I attached a hand wheel to the top there so that in case I need to move the head up and down manually, I can do that with that hand wheel. And then of course you got the X and the Y motors as well. I also had to do limit switches on all the axes so that uh, they don't overrun uh, the boundaries of the, of the uh, mill. And I also have done a Bluetooth DRO. This, this Bluetooth, it's wireless and it's from Yuri's Toys on the internet. And um, I got the kit from Little Machine Shop with the magnetic reed heads. And so I've got all the wire, wire routing done. So you can see if you look at the display up there, you can see how it tracks the movement of the axes. So any um, tablet, any uh, Android tablet will work with the system that has Bluetooth. And that's a really neat accessory. I'm looking forward to using that. 